Clue Media's Mining Weekly is interviewing Eurosun Mining CEO, Grant Sporos, who cut his teeth in mining in South Africa and is now leading this development stage mining company in Romania. Sun Euro Mining is listed in Toronto, Canada, and as CEO of Eurosun Mining, Grant Sporos is going all out to advance Eurosun's 100% gold copper project in Romania's Rovina Valley. Grant, it's great to chat to you. I'd like to kick off with this overview and insight into Eurosun Mining and the Rovina Valley project. Sure, Martin. Thank you very much for having me. Looking forward to talking to you on this uh, on this project of ours. It's a very special project of ours that we have. So, I mean, just some background. Romania has quite a rich history of mining, especially in the valley that we're in, um, in the Ravenna area. Um, in that province, it's it's been historically gold mined by the Romans um, all the way through to now. Really nice, rich quartz veins, mainly underground mining. And essentially, you're looking at the second largest deposit of gold in Europe and the second largest deposit of copper in Europe as well. Biggest deposits are sitting with our next door neighbors 40 kilometers away, Russia Montana, which is owned by Gabriel Resources. And they're also busy trying to get their ship up and running. We're sitting with a porphyry style mine, 10 million ounce equivalent. And we are going to take this and mine it out over the next 30, 35 years. And then we will probably end up going underground as well, as the resources are very rich underground. So we're moving into a, a place that was historically mined. The, the, mine that, the mines that were mined were actually just five kilometers away from our current position in the mountains of, of Ravina. Very steep mining, um, thick porphyry style, as I said, and not the biggest grades, grades on the planet, um, but overall enough to produce 10 million ounces with a view of a greater resource that will prove up on the rest of our licenses that we have adjacent to our properties. We're probably looking to double up on that. And Grant, how do you rate Romania as an investment destination? <laughs> so Martin, this is a tricky one. I mean, um, look, um, it, most investors will know that um, there, there's a nasty court case that has gone on for the last 12 years with Gabriel Resources over Russia Montana. And um, that's coming to a conclusion now. Um, and Romania it wasn't really viewed favorably as an investment destination. The problem started mainly as a result of a government being partnering up with Gabriel Resources. We don't have the same problem. We are 100% owned on our own. Um, and they, they got into a squabble, which they're being settled, and the Romanian government has lost the court case. So Gabriel is going to be awarded somewhere between 2 and $4 billion in lost revenue and profit and damages. And with my meetings with the Minister of Economy, Minister of Environment, and now I've got a meeting with the Prime Minister in the last week of March. And because of what's happened in the Ukraine, governments know that they are very well positioned to rebuild Ukraine. So they want to industrialize Romania. There's no two ways about it. With the new changes in the law in Europe, with the European Commission now looking at strategic and, and critical metals, copper's on the list for us, which is exactly what we want. But there's a number of other resources that Romania has that they can exploit, which they can help to build Romania, which will fuel the Romanian economy for the, probably the next 25 years. So we definitely have seen the change from this bad perception of Romania. I spend a lot of time on the ground there, and I spend a lot of time with all the stakeholders. And we definitely have seen a shift from the way previous government were trying to manage things compared to now the new government that's in place that wants to exploit the resources of the country. And Grant, when do you expect the first gold and copper to likely emerge from your project? At this point in time, we, we're busy completing the permitting stage, Martin. Um, I'm expecting with the changes in law, which is imminent. In fact, yesterday I spoke to the Minister of Economy and they have submitted the legislation for the change, which will bring copper into the strategic metals group, which means a lot of those hoops that we had to jump through, we won't have to jump through anymore. We're just basically moving to the environmental impact assessment stage. I'll do that. Be permitted with the permit to construct the mine. I need about two years to construct the mine. So we're still looking at first gold production around about July, mid-July of 2026. And to what extent 
does your Ravina Valley project underpin the Critical Raw Materials Act passed by the European Union in December last year? We're very fortunate because we are one of the only mines in the area, in that gold quadrangle, um, that has copper. And we are going to make sure that we are, as an agreement with the government of Romania, is that we are going to make sure that our production or our mining production will be centered more towards the copper production because they want to actually erect a smelter in Romania and they want to actually produce the finished product in order to give Romania a competitive advantage to be able to sell its copper into the rest of Europe. So absolutely critical. This is this is what our ticket to ride, Martin. You know, it, this is what's going to give us the ability to skip through a lot of red tape. And it really is red tape. We're not trying to bounce over any critical procedures. We just need to be in an environment globally. It's not just us. We buy critical mining projects are given a chance to actually survive. So many projects fail because of the red tape around permitting issues. And in this case, it opens the door for us and our relationships with government are solid and they are very supportive on the project. And just give us your priorities at the moment and the next steps you intend taking. Well, absolutely. Next steps is making sure that we sit with government, keep asking them where everything is in the process of changing the law to get it adopted. I mean, as I said yesterday, the Minister of Economy has, has passed on the, the, the draft resolution for the change, and then there will be a consultation stage, and which we don't think will take too long, about a month or so, public consultation. And then we need to get this thing through, and then we need to make sure we're ready with the EIA submission, which we are practically 80% done. So I'm working over, that's really important for me over the next month or two. And ready for that submission, push it over the line in three months, to and fro in terms of uh, consultation with the Ministry of Environment. And then we want our permit to construct the mine. And finally, Grant, in your view, what should be the biggest takeaway from this interview we're doing right now? <laughs> I think the most important thing is that, you know, we would like to make sure we get this project up and going for the, for the benefit of, of Europe and of Romania. I need to keep reiterating to people that, you know, we are not a cyanide operating mine. We are going to be producing a concentrate, which will be sent to a smelter in Romania or a smelter close in Bulgaria or across in Ukraine. We are not pumping any wet tails. Everything's dry. We're trying to make sure that we do the best to preserve the environment and comply with everything that we need to comply with. And that makes our project really, really green for, for Europe. And, and that's, that's the key message that we need to keep sending out, especially to people that try to focus on the environmental aspects only, that we are also making sure that we are absolutely compliant and respect everything around the, the beautiful area that it is. I mean, it's, it's a relatively uninhabited part of the world, very steep hills, as I mentioned, and a, and a little bit wooded. But, you know, really, we want to push this thing forward we need people to understand that this project will go ahead. It will be the biggest project in the last 35 years. So for the benefit of the government and the country, I mean, the government earned 45% of the bottom line from us. And, you know, now that they are cognizant of these types of things and understanding that everybody's there to give and to contribute and to build up and to build those really quite poor areas, you know, since mining has disappeared in the areas, the message from the population and the communities we want our kids to come home and many of many of the people's children have left because there's no employment and this will provide an opportunity to get development back into the area get back into helping with schooling building schools hospitals road infrastructure things that are critical for everything else to to move forward these are the most important things that we can take out of this is that this is a project for everybody. We're trying to make sure that everybody benefits. That was Creamy Media's Mining Weekly, speaking to Grant Sporos, the CEO of Eurosun Mining, a gold and copper mining project developer in Romania.